When we hear musical, we immediately think of New York and Broadway. In California, home of Hollywood and movies, it's much rarer to experience a wealth of Tony winners performing in great live theater. Well, here on Best Deals, Southern California's most watched Consumer Report TV show, we're proud to bring you the best values in entertainment. We've been seeing a multitude of billboards, newspapers, and television and radio spots featuring Loving the Silent Tears. This new musical has certainly made its presence known in Los Angeles. Our interest was piqued and we discovered that this show offers a fantastic value for its high production quality. With the names of Oscar, Tony, Grammy and Emmy winners attached to the project, it's truly a star-studded event that will premiere at the Shrine Auditorium. Today at the Loving the Silent Tears production office, we're about to meet three of the amazing cast members to find out more. It's so great to be with all of you today. Thanks for being here. So let's start off by introducing yourselves. Camelia, we'll have you start and then tell us what culture you'll be representing in the musical. My name is Camelia Abuoda, and I'll be representing the Arab culture. Sivash Shams, I will be representing Iran or Persia. Shalom, my name is Liel Colette, and I will be representing Israel. They are three members of the huge celebrity cast that's also featuring Grammy-winning pop icons like John Cicada and Jody Watley, and Tony winners from Broadway. <laughs> Siavash is a legend in the thriving Persian pop music world, with his debut album still one of the best-selling Persian albums of all time. So Siavash, could you tell us what the musical is about? It's about finding peace and finding God within yourself and something above all the loves that we have in this life. There is a true energy and there is a true feeling of something out there that can bring everybody together. And uh, I hope everybody can find that. Supreme Master Ching Hai is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist who wrote a collection of poems titled Silent Tears. Two-time Oscar-winning composer Al Kasha was inspired to create a musical based on the spiritual journey found in its pages. The Supreme Master's written poetry really touches my heart. I take this work very, very seriously because I know how it could change a person's life. The poems have been set to music for the show by a team of top-tier Broadway and Hollywood composers. And get this, all of them have won the Tony, Oscar, Grammy, or an Emmy Award, the highest honors in U.S. theater, film, music, and television industries. The music is beautiful and very special because the audience that will be at the show will get to experience music from 16 different countries. And that's something that never happened before. We are uh, representing the Middle East kind of music and uh, I think it's, it's very special and it stands out from all the musicals that are out there. Liel Colette from Israel has sung with the likes of Patti LaBelle and Andrea Bocelli. One of her loveliest performances was when she spontaneously invited U.S. President Bill Clinton to sing Imagine with her and a choir of Arab and Israeli children. Only 14 then, and now 23, she still dedicates her singing career to peace. First of all, the beautiful poetry of Supreme Master Ching Hai. Her poetry is just amazing and so inspiring. And of course, the message, the message of peace, the message of harmony, acceptance, this musical has all of those things together. Liel, how is your performance in the musical related to the peace message? I think that the three of us together on one stage performing together a song is a very powerful message. Our countries are countries in a very conflicted area. So for me to be able to sing with singers from Iran and Lebanon is something that I never experienced before and it's going to be a very, very powerful moment for me. And I think it's beautiful that people can see that it can happen. I mean, if it happens on stage, why can't it be also out there in the world? So I hope that they will take this message with them. Camelia Abu Oda was born to Palestinian and Lebanese parents. The gifted USC graduate has been praised by Stevie Wonder and is thrilled to be in Loving the Silent Tears. It's a very exciting moment for Israel, Iran slash Persia and Lebanon and the Arab cultures to be together on one stage performing on an individual level. I've seen that they're beautiful people. I know that you know, in their countries of origin. There are other beautiful people. The three of us are going to participate in one song and cooperate together and hopefully people can take that message with them as well to do the same in their daily lives. 
Though from different cultures, Arab, Israeli and Persian, the three are now friends, soon to be united on the same stage. Loving the Silent Tears is directed by Tony nominee Vincent Patterson, the acclaimed director of Madonna and Michael Jackson's world concert tours. I hope that everyone will be able to get a sense of what has inspired us to put this piece together, what it means to us, and the beautiful messages that we hope to present. The choreographer is Bonnie Story, who won an Emmy for the impressive dance scenes in High School Musical. I'm very excited about it, and I, I, I love what it's about. I, I think it's a beautiful message and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Now, we're told that Loving the Silent Tears will have an ensemble of well over 30 of the finest dancers alive in America. The project that I did for Cirque du Soleil is closing, and we were fortunate enough to have some of the most amazing dancers who exist in the United States. The majority of them are now going to come over and do this project with us. If that's not enough, you'll also hear enchanting voices from around the world, from opera to samba to, of course, Middle Eastern style melodies. If we had somebody like her in every country in the world, we'd have eternal peace. The universal themes of the musical coincide with the global and noble values that are exemplified by Supreme Master Ching Hai Day. The event is celebrating the 19th anniversary of this special holiday. What will the musical be like when it finally debuts? I think the audience can expect the unexpected because I believe that they're going to experience something very special that was never done before. It's really exciting to see that so much love and passion in one place from different cultures just representing this, uh, this piece and I know they're going to like it. If this production has caught your interest in any way, then you're probably on a certain path that everyone else who's going to attend is on as well. So everyone in the auditorium, including on stage and in the audience, is there for a common goal to have positive, healthy, joyful experience. And so it's going to emanate off everyone. And together, it's going to be just an amazing time. I think so, too. It sounds amazing. Thank you all so much. And best of luck to you with the production. Thank, Thank you. you. With the Shrine Auditorium being the longtime venue of the Oscars and the largest stage of its kind in North America, you can only imagine how much fun the show's going to be. Loving the Silent Tears is a one-time only engagement on Saturday, October 27th at the Shrine Auditorium. Tickets are on Ticketmaster.com. Find out more at SilentTearsMusical.com or go to our website, BestDealsTVShow.com.